The greatest story ever told. Presented by the United States Armed Forces Radio Service. Tonight we present The House in Darkness, a drama based on a teaching from the greatest life ever lived. The dead of night, and nothing stirs in the town of Jezreel in Galilee. The sentry drowses at the town gate. The whole town is quiet and peaceful. And yet in one house, the largest house in town, a figure moves stealthily in the darkness. A hand reaches out toward the heavy iron handle of the door. The bolt is slipped. The sound echoes in the house. The housekeeper in her bed stirs suddenly in fearful waking. She leaps up and starts from her room out to the great hall. From there she sees the stealthy figure at the door. Conquering her fright, the woman calls out. Who is it? Who's there? Speak, who are you? Who are you? What do you want in here? Why, no. Mistress, you? Yes, Sarah, it's I. Do you spy on me all the time? Mistress, you, you leave here in the middle of the night? Why? Where, where do you go? Please, Zara, no questions. But you know you have not been feeling well ever, ever since your son, the young master of this house, died. You can't go out this, at this time of night. I am going. But where? Why? Won't you tell me? Haven't I been servant to you since I was a mere girl and then your housekeeper for so long a time? Can't you confide even in me? If I could tell anyone. If I... Please, mistress, you can tell me. Zara, I go from here to the town gate. If the sentry is drowsing, I can slip through the gate and away from the town unseen. But why? There is a cave in the hills outside the town. There is a witch living there. A witch? Mistress, it is forbidden for a thousand years. Our law has forbidden it. And if it has, King Saul himself went once to see a witch at Endor in time of trouble. It is so even in the scriptures. I am going. But if you are caught... I don't care if it will enable me to see my son again. Mistress, what are you saying? See your son again? Two years dead, two years... Oh, mistress, what are you saying? The witch in the hills, she's promised. With her herbs and her strange powers, she can do it. I'll see him again. Hear him again. No, mistress, it cannot be. It isn't possible. It is. I shall see him again. My son. My son. No, please, no. You can say no. You are not a mother who has lost her only child. You don't know what it means. The heartbreak. The emptiness, the nothingness which remains. No, you were never a mother. I am going. All right, mistress, if you insist on going. But at least let me go with you. Let me go along to protect you. If you wish, Zara. But you must promise never to mention this to anyone. <laughs> This is the cave, Zara. You will wait out here. Is it safe for you in there? You must wait here. I have promised her I would never bring anyone with me. All right, mistress. I will wait out here for you. Woman, 
I am here again. Ah, it is you, Rebecca. Yes. This time, this time will there be some sign of my son, some sight or sound of him. Perhaps this time, sit here. Yes. Ah, good. Now, you brought the silver to influence the spirits. Yes. This time even more. I want to be sure this time. Place it here on the stone of the spirits. This time, will I have some word or sign of Absalom? You must be quiet, else how can I tempt the mysterious spirits to accept the silver? Oh. 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 Perhaps, perhaps this time I see. Wait, I must. No, oh, no, not this time. Oh, but you said. I said I would try. This time, word of him was closer than ever before. Next time, it will be closer still. Soon, soon. So you must come here again. Night after next. Yes. Tonight, there was some disturbing thing. You will come here again and bring more silver. Promise. Yes, I promise. Anything, anything at all to see my son again. Now, mistress, to your bed and rest. Rest. Zara, you shouldn't have come with me. Well, what is it, mistress? I did nothing. I did as you told me. It's your fault I didn't see him. It's just come to me. What she said about a disturbing influence. You were there. It was your fault. No, mistress, please. You cannot see him again. Never. The dead are dead. Don't say that. I speak only for your own good. Absalom was a fine young man. But he is dead. You must know that and go on to live your life among the living. Instead, you have made this house a tomb. You have made his room a dark place for brooding where no one but yourself is allowed. You cannot go on like that, mistress. You can. Zara, you will leave this house forever. Mistress, you say that to me. Yes. I see now by the way you talk that you're as cruel and heartless as the rest of them who would want me to forget that my son never lived. Forget him? Could I forget his gentleness towards others? His kindness, this house open to all who needed help. This house should be that way again. Never. I must live alone and in darkness the rest of my days. I have no life without him. But, Zara, I spoke too hastily. You won't leave me, will you? No, mistress. I shall forget your words spoken in anger. Now let me help you to your bed. Yes, Zara. Please do that. Zara? Zara? Zara, where are you? Mistress, did I hear you call? Yes. Where have you been all day? Wait, don't you remember... Th this is the day I spoke of, when I was to go to hear the master. You said that I could. Oh, yes. Yes, I remember. Well, did you see him? Hear yes. him? Yes. Yes, mistress, I did. And, and what a wonderful sight it was. So many more people were there to hear him than ever before. And as he spoke to us, you could feel a peace and tranquility settle on everyone. The wrongdoers repentant, the overburdened uplifted, even the mournful comforted. Zara, what are you trying to say? 
that you might come with me. I never go out during the day, you know that. Yes, I know. That's one reason I did what I did. What? Uh, well, at the end of the teaching, great black clouds began to gather a storm. It, it will break very soon. But you said you did something. Yes. The master and his close followers, the apostles, they have no place of shelter traveling as they do from town to town. And, and with all the room we have here in this great empty house, I, I, I thought we could give them shelter against the storm this night. So I asked them to come here. It will not happen. Not in this house. No, please, mistress. I've, I've already asked them. We can't turn them away now. Surely you wouldn't close your door against the mask. They will not enter here. Please, mistress, I will give up my food and my place. There will be voices of men. There will be lamps lit and feasting. They might even wander into his room. That can never be. No one goes into that room. No one but me. It was Absalom. It will never be anyone's else. They, they needn't see the room, even know of it. Though such a room could shelter many men in a storm. No, Zara. Please, mistress, you heard the storm is broken. No, Zara. You will tell them that... Let's stay at the door now, please, mistress. No. Please, if, if I mean anything to you at all, do this just this once. Don't shame me so before the master. Go, Zara. Tell them they shall not enter this house. Oh, mistress, if only you would... Go, Zara. Yes, yes, I shall go. Master and Peter, John, Thomas. Yes, sir, we're here. May we come in? Peter, I... I... My dear, what is it? Why do you cry? Oh, Master, Master. How can I tell you of my shame at this moment? How can I... My good woman, what is it? Can we help? Peter, none of you may enter here. We... We may not enter this house? That's right. And when I asked you, when I offered, I, I thought it would be possible. thought it would be a good thing for my mistress, too. But she has forbidden me. And now you must wander the night in the rain. Please, woman, don't cry. This won't be the first night we've faced rain or cold. But the master... Oh, master, your cloak wet through... Master, if I could, I would throw wide the door. But it is forbidden me. Forbidden? By my mistress, a woman steeped in the morning for a son dead some two years. This house is like his tomb. No one is allowed here, no one. She has turned from the world, so the charity and the kindness that are in her hands to do, she does not. Master, even though she turns you away at this moment, she needs you more than anyone ever did. Master, surely you have some word to help this woman... Let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. Yes, Master. I will remember those words. I shall try to carry them to my mistress and open her heart, Master. Well, Zara, why do you stand there and stare at me? You still haven't forgiven me for what I did, have you? It is not my place to forgive, mistress. Well, then don't stare at me that way. It's been almost a month since it's happened anyhow. Yes, mistress. But, um, but there is something else. I do not want to hear the master's words again. No, mistress. This is something else. The serving woman, Miriam, of the household of Simon... She is dead. Why do you bring me news of every death that happens in this town? Do you think it can make my grieving for my son less to know that others die, too? Well, it can't. No, I, I didn't mean to upset you, mistress. That, that's why I found it so difficult to mention. Miriam left a child. The child is without family now. So I thought that if, if you were to give me permission, I should take the child in to live here. A child? 
In this house? Why not, mistress? The laughter of a child would mean so much in this empty place. Wouldn't it, though? Mistress? The laughter of a child. Intruding on my thoughts of my son. There will be no child in this house. But, mistress... Don't you see what could happen? That child wandering loose around here. She might even get into his room. She might even touch some of his things. But, mistress, if the child were kept to one room... No, I don't want her here. I don't even want to see her. And if you never did see her, if I were to take her into my room, she would eat with me in the kitchen. She would never be permitted to come into this part of the house. You will never even know that she is here. Well, if I never know... No. If she doesn't make a sound or do a thing to disturb me... No, never. All right. You may take her in, Zara. Oh, thank you, mistress. Thank you. You needn't thank me. Only make sure that the child and I never meet, that I never hear her. That's all. Here, Rhoda. This is the place. This kitchen. <laughs> So much larger even than the one in Simon's house. Yes, this is a larger house. Oh, I would like to see the great hall. There must be room there for hundreds of people at feast Now, time. Rhoda, listen to me. You are never to go any further into this house than here. This kitchen and that room there, which is mine, and that's all. You must forget there is any more to this house. But why? You must forget it, else you'll have to leave here. You don't like me. You don't really want me here, do you? Oh, of course. Of course I like you, child. And I do want you here. But the mistress of this house, she is a bitter woman. And because she still mourns her son, she wrongs the whole world and everyone about her. I suffer. Even the master was made to wander the streets in a torrent of rain. Now you will suffer in a way, too. You must be restricted to these two rooms. A whole great empty house? Now, please, child, do as I say. Yes, sir. From now on, Rhoda, these two rooms shall be your home. Dara, I've been waiting for you to come out of the kitchen. Yes, mistress. The... Child is here, isn't she? More than a week, mistress. You see, I told you she'd be so quiet, you wouldn't even know she was here. I told you. Quite so, insofar as noise is concerned. What does that mean? At his place at the table in the great dining hall. Well? That dish which was his favorite. It was never to be moved. I know. It has been moved. Oh, no, mistress. It has been moved. No. Did you move it? And no. neither did I. That child has been in here, in this part of the house. But I, I don't understand. I told her... That's what I meant about children. They promise to be good, but then somehow they always forget their promises. That's why I never wanted that child here in the first place. Mistress, I, I, I shall talk to her. If it did happen, I shall see that it never happens again. If it does happen again, the child goes. And you, too. Remember that. <laughs> And she said you must have been out there. Must have touched that dish that was her son's favorite. Now tell me, Rhoda, did you? Did you? Sarah, I... <laughs> oh, not child. No, no, don't cry. I won't punish you. Not if you tell me the truth. I couldn't help it. I couldn't. I kept thinking about the great hall and how it would look so beautiful. And the more I thought about it, the more it seemed a wonderful thing to see. Until I couldn't stand it any longer. I had to see it. I had to. And then you slipped into the room and saw the dish and touched it. Yes, Sarah. It was so nice. I, I just wanted to touch it. I did. Maybe I moved it, but only a little. Only a little. Hmm. She has sat at that table every meal since her son died and kept her eyes on that dish all the time. 
she would notice even the slightest move. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. Rhoda, it must never happen again. Never again. Else neither of us will have a home any longer. Do you understand? just come from the market and... Rhoda? Are you in here? Rhoda! Oh, no, she hasn't, not again. Oh, no! Rhoda! Dara? What, what is it? What's wrong? Mistress... What is it? Why do you look that way? It, 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 it's nothing, nothing. You called the child, didn't you? Yes, I... She isn't in there in the kitchen, is she? Mistress, please. She's come into this part of the house, hasn't she? She's done it again. Well, well maybe, maybe not. Maybe she's outside playing in the arbor. Maybe... The she... child's in here. You fear it and you know it. But this time she's not in the great hall, for I was in there only a moment ago myself. She must be upstairs, in the other room. Maybe even in his room. Oh, no. I shall see at once. No, mistress, please don't. I am going up to see. No, mistress, no, please. Please, l let me fetch her down here, please. No, Zara. Mistress, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't be angry with the child, please. I beg of you, don't do it, mistress. I shall see for myself. Heaven help that child if she's in that room. Now, I shall see. Mistress, no. Zara, you have your hand on my arm. Please. Take your hand away. Now. <gasps> so you are in here. And what is that you have in your hand? It, it's a toy. One of his playthings. I'm sorry. My son's <laughs> room. His thing. <laughs> you have desecrated this place. Why? Why don't people leave me to my own sorrow? Why do they seek to reach into me and tear out my very heart? Why do... <laughs> a child... <laughs> Here in this room where he was a child. And weeping, too. Don't cry, child, don't cry. I, I can't help it. Please, I can't bear to hear the crying of children. Just get out of here, out of this room. But it's such a nice room. And the toys here are such nice toys. Is it wrong for children to play with? Oh, them? be quiet. What are toys for if not for children to play with? It isn't fair to keep them shut up in this dark, empty room. Child, here. Look at me. Come, let me see your face. No, let me go. Look at me and say what you said. Say it once more. What do you mean? Toys are for children to play with. And this room, look at it, dark and empty. But it used to be bright and filled with laughter. The laughter of a happy child. How much better that was than this. Child. Yes? These toys. This one you held in your hand. Would it make you happy to have it? Why, why yes, it would. It would. Then, then have it. Have them all. All. What, what did you say? Mistress, did you mean it? Yes, Zara, I meant it. And Zara, draw back the hangings that shut the light out of this room. Draw them back. Yes, mistress. Yes, I shall draw them back. There. Light. Sunlight. For the first time since that day. Since the day he died in this room. Oh, the light is good in here. Child, let me see your face. I've never seen it before, you know. Yes, mistress. A sweet face. And good, too. And you are so innocently wise, my child. Yes. Toys are for children to play with. And a house is for people to live in. This home will be like that from now on, Zara. Oh, yes, mistress. No more darkness. 
no deathly silence here any longer. But people and the sounds of life, voices and laughter, even tears, all of them are sounds of life. The world has not died. Only my son has died. I know that now. Child? Yes? This was a child's room once. And it will be that again. This shall be your room from now on. Thank you. Oh, mistress, bless you. Zara, now I realize the harm I've done to you. And what I did to the master, turning him away into the storm. And then to this child. Everyone suffered because I gave myself to selfish and destructive grief for far too long a time. Now I shall turn from grief and follow the master's way. This house, Zara, and my life from now on are dedicated to the living. No one in need shall be turned away ever again. My son would have liked it that way. And that way, I shall follow the master's word. Let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. You have been listening to The House in Darkness, another episode in the greatest story ever told from the greatest life ever lived. The greatest story ever told was a presentation of the United States Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education.